Hungarian folk tales. The little cockerel and the hedge. Once upon a time, a little cockerel went out under the hedge to scratch around. He scratched and scratched around until the hedge was uprooted. Along came a magpie and asked the uprooted hedge. Now what's the matter with you, hedge? Only yesterday you were standing here all healthy and strong. Dear me, brother magpie, replied the hedge. The little cockerel came out to scratch around under me. And now I'm uprooted. Well then, I'll pull out my fine tail, said the magpie. And he pulled out his own tail feathers just like that. Off he flew to a walnut tree. The walnut tree was astonished at how scruffy the magpie looked. So the walnut tree asked, What's happened to you, brother magpie? Only yesterday you had a fine tail. And now you are all scruffy. Dear me, brother tree, answered the magpie. The little cockerel went out to scratch around under the hedge. The hedge was uprooted and I pulled out my fine tail. Well then, I'll clip off my fine twigs, said the walnut tree. And he clipped off his twigs just like that. Around noon came a deer to rest under the walnut tree out of the great heat. She could see that the walnut tree was now completely bald. What happened to you, walnut tree? Only yesterday you were green and flourishing. Now today you're all bald. Dear me, sister dear, answered the walnut tree. The little cockerel went out this morning to scratch around under the hedge. The hedge was uprooted. The magpie pulled out its fine tail feather and I clipped off all my twigs. Well then, I'll chase away my two fine sons, said the deer. And she sent them both away, just like that. For which she grieved and grieved. When she felt thirsty, she went to the well for a drink. Now the well was astonished to see the deer appear alone, because she always brought her two fine sons with her. So the well asked, How is it you are on your own today, sister dear? Where have you left your two fine sons? Dear me, brother well, said the deer. The little cockerel went out this morning to stretch around under the hedge. The hedge was uprooted. The magpie pulled out its fine tail. The walnut tree clipped off all his twigs. And I sent my two fine sons away. Well then, I'll turn my fine wine into blood, said the well. And so he did. Now when Sarah, the serving girl, went to the well with her pail, she asked the well, What's this well? How is it today that you're full of blood instead of your sweet water? Dear me, Sarah, said the well. The little cockerel went out this morning to scratch around under the hedge. The hedge was uprooted. The magpie pulled out his fine tail. The walnut tree clipped off all his twigs. The deer sent her two fine sons away. And the water in me has turned to blood. Well, then I'll beat my own head with this pail. And so she did. And off she went with a swollen, battered head back to her mistress. Her mistress asked, What happened to you, Sarah? Dear me, mistress, said Sarah. The little cockerel went out this morning to scratch around under the hedge. The hedge was uprooted. The magpie pulled out his fine tail. The walnut tree clipped off all his twigs. The deer sent her two fine sons away. The water in the well turned to blood. And I beat my own head with the pail. Well then, I'll spread my dough all over the wall. It was just ready for kneading, but she went ahead and spread it all over the wall. Now when the master of the house came home that evening, he saw that the dough was spread all over the wall. Have you gone mad or what, dear wife? That you spread the dough all over the wall? Dear me, husband. The little cockerel went out this morning to scratch around under the hedge. The hedge was uprooted. The magpie pulled out his fine tail. The walnut tree clipped off all his twigs. The deer sent her two fine sons away. The water in the well turned to blood. Sarah beat her own head with a pail, and I spread the dough all over the wall. Well then, I'll shave off my fine beard. And he shaved it off just like that. Not long later, the son of the house came home and saw his father with a face like a plucked chicken. 
he asked. What happened to you, father dear? Son, there's been nothing but trouble here all day. The little cockerel went out this morning to scratch around under the hedge. The hedge was uprooted. The magpie pulled out his fine tail. The walnut tree clipped off all his twigs. The deer sent her two fine sons away. The water in the well turned to blood. Sarah beat her own head with a pail. Your mother spread the dough all over the wall. And I went and shaved off my fine beard. Fair enough, said the lad. I'll go out and cut off the legs of our four oxen. With that, he picked up his axe, went to the buyer, and straight away cut off a foreleg of one of the oxen. He was just about to take the axe to another when a soldier just happened to arrive and cried to him, Have you lost your mind, my lad? What are you doing to that ox? Dear me, soldier, sir. The little cockerel went out this morning to scratch around under the hedge. The hedge was uprooted. The magpie pulled out his fine tail. The walnut tree clipped off all his twigs. The deer sent her two fine sons away. The water in the well turned to blood. Sarah beat her own head with a pail. My mother spread the dough all over the wall. My father shaved off his fine beard completely. And now I'm cutting off the legs of our four oxen. Only when the moon turns green, shouted the soldier, and gave the lad such a beating with the flat of his sword that it was all he could do to stagger back into the house. The soldier drove the oxen off to the fair and sold them. With his time served as a soldier, he was free to marry. And from the oxen prize, he threw a great feast of a wedding. And they all lived happily ever after.